Keep working, Becker. You're halfway. Keep working. Hey guys, welcome to week three of the South Metro Fire Academy. I wanna start off this week by going back to last Friday because that day was one of the most, if not the most stressful day for these recruits going through this academy. The stress test happened on Friday, but as you'll remember leading up to that day, the RTOs took the recruits through a lot of different trainings here on the drill ground. They had to go through confined spaces in the maze. They also had to find pieces of their SCBA and put them back together, all with that blackout shield over their face. Stress test is probably the worst day of their lives, and hopefully one they'll never see. Um, starts off, um, the stress test actually starts off on Monday when they get told basically at the end of the week if you don't pass the test, you don't have a job anymore. We do it early in the academy. It's one of those things that we, we build the stress up over the week so that it's in their head and they need to learn to master their minds so they can get through any of these obstacles that we're gonna put in front of them. It's that, that encouragement and coaching that gets them through that. And that's what's gonna happen on a real fire scene. They're gonna get coached and um, encouraged over the radio if they're calling a mayday or they're having a problem. A traditional picture at the, as they come out is when they're completed, um, it's always been a stuffed animal of some sort and this was where the, what they found down here, SpongeBob. So they hand them SpongeBob and they kind of get that, that blackout cover taken off their mask. So it's a surprise, they're out, all their academy mates are around them. We've been doing this test for over 30 years, every, it's a, the beginning of every academy, and it, it starts that whole group off on the right foot. My name's Andrew Becker. I'm from Chatsworth, California in the San Fernando Valley. This is Steven Monroe. From Colorado Springs, Colorado. Brian Wasselko, originally from Hershey, Pennsylvania. My name is Mackenzie Ryan. I'm originally from Illinois. Moved out here almost two years ago. I live in Colorado Springs. My name is Jared Dale. I'm from San Diego, California. I'm Jake Cohen. I'm originally from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, Richard Jack. I'm from Colorado Springs. Hello, my name's Scott Hipwell. I'm from Denver, Colorado. My name's John Rivera. I was originally from Kansas City, Missouri. We lived there until I was about three years old and then pretty much have been living in Denver, Colorado ever since then. My name's Tanya Satchwell. I'm from Taupo, New Zealand. Uh, I've lived in Colorado now for almost 18 years. My name's Tommy Weiser. I'm from Sacramento, California. Hi, I'm Isaiah Hartman. I'm from Milbank, South Dakota originally. My name is Adam Sullivan. I moved here from Maine. My name is Jake Thompson. I'm from Wavita, Colorado. My name is Mike Twist. I grew up in California. I've been in Colorado for 10 years. Hi, Steve Sockman, originally from Los Angeles, California. I'm Hayden Ragsdale. I'm from Leadville, Colorado. My name's Alex Rule. I'm a Colorado native. 
Hey everybody, my name is Recruit Zach Tobasa. I'm a Colorado transplant from a small town called Encinitas, California. My name's Sean Springate. I'm born and raised Colorado Springs, Colorado. Spent the last five years in Omaha, but now I'm back home. Hi, I'm Katie Becker. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Uh, my name is Mac Malone. I'm originally from Virginia. All right, now let's get you back to week three. So on Monday, the recruits learned about fire behavior. They were able to use this box to really get a feel for the chemistry and the flow path of fire. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, the recruits are learning all about ground ladders, how to do carries, how to do throws, and how to do leg locks. Ladder coming down. with uh, obviously short straight ladders uh, and then we move into progression of uh, two-person throws working up to getting to the two-person 35 and then uh, by the end of today we we're doing single single person 28 extension 24 extension and and all the straight ladders as well um, along with that we go over a lot of window entry um, and uh, getting in into the window out of the window leading up for some VEIS skills later on in Academy. Uh, unconscious victims and conscious victims were covered as well. And uh, getting a roof ladder to a roof from an extension ladder, went through that. Just pretty much everything that's regarding ground ladders on the fire scene were, was covered very quickly, but in depth in two days. Today is Thursday. We're going to head over to the drill ground. The recruits are working on power tools. The recruits have had a full day of hands-on uh, dealing with uh, saws, uh, rotary saws, um, and all their hand tools for forcible entry. Um, all the props you kind of see around here on the drill ground today, they were having uh, just doing multiple cuts with uh, simulated uh, flat roof and pitch roof uh, for residential. Uh, we've had some steel and rebar over here that would simulate any type of a steel structure and or uh, garage, uh, garage doors and storage units and or maybe a, a residential garage door. Um, South Metro we run a ton of storage unit and garage type fires, um, so we're giving them some good practice with that. Um, also in that fire station over there, they're working with the chainsaws, uh, just giving them some different uh, feels and choices what they would use to uh, ventilate a structure or to make in, uh, egress into a, to a structure. <laughs> So today is vertical ventilation training for the recruits. So all of those different skills that you saw them learning with the power tools uh, just earlier this week, they're going to be using that on a slanted surface similar to a roof. Walk up that rafter and sound it and then sound to the sides. Keep walking up that rafter, stay on the rafter. So once you get up to where you want her to cut, find the rafter that she's going to be cold cutting over. 
Okay, she found it. So when she gets up here, you'll go like this, signifying cut one. And that'll signify that's your rafter. Once we get some good smoke and fire coming out, get off the roof. Get off the roof. The reason we ventilate is to get the gases and fire out of the building to help victims' survivability um, and uh, make it easier for us to search. Yeah.